a donk. This Counter-Strike 2 player came out of nowhere, destroyed some of the most skilled players in the world, had a record-setting individual performance at Katowice, and changed the way we think about the game, and he's only 17. Greetings, I, the War Owl greets you for today's Daily War Owl video. More like monthly. Shut up! We're gonna be looking at Donk, because I think this player has the potential to be the greatest Counter-Strike player in the history of the game, but it's not for the reasons you think. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Why did I do that? What was that all about? Please, don't do that again. Opera. That's the name for today's sponsor, Opera GX. Opera GX is a web browser that doesn't hog all your system resources. With GX Control, you can customize how much processing power and memory the web browser is allowed to use. So while you're gaming, you can have your web browser open, so you can leave a million tabs open like a boomer, and look up smoke lineups on your other monitor, and watch War Owl at the same time without it nuking your game performance. There's also a lot of customizability, but I'm really lazy and don't like to do that. That's why we have GX mods. You can go to the GX store and download a mod that customizes the entire web browser for you. There's official mods and community created ones that change the aesthetics and the sound effects of the browser. Here's one that makes it Counter-Strike themed. Opera GX has a quick import tool that lets you import your settings from your previous browser. Check out my link in the description to give Opera GX a try, or I'll sing again, I'll do it. Donk blew up the Counter-Strike world with this frenetic playstyle. He never stops moving. Notice how as he moves along, he's consistently counter-strafing, and his crosshair placement darts around to different potential positions with surprising accuracy. He's always ready for a player to be anywhere. Keeping up that level of energy and focus long-term is draining, but it doesn't doesn't seem to affect Donk, he just keeps playing this way. When he does make contact, he goes for the headshot, then immediately crouches and sprays. Donk consistently crouches when engaging, more so than I would say the average player. When he has the defensive advantage, he also chooses to dry peek instead of holding angles, where it seems foolish, but it works. And I think there's a very good reason for this. Donk has been grinding Counter-Strike from Tomsk, Russia. When I say he came out of nowhere, that's not an idiom, he literally came out of the middle of nowhere. That means when he learned how to play the game, he learned it on high ping, and anybody who has played on high ping knows, use the ping wide swing. Essentially, if you have high ping, there's always going to be a large peeker's advantage. You never want to be holding angles, you always want to be peeking, even when you're playing defensive, you jiggle the corners. And this is the pattern we see from Donk. He consistently plays like he has high ping, even on LAN, even when he's on the big stage in front of the crowd, that's just the way he plays. This is what zoomers look like when they're leaving spawn. Looks like he thinks he's a Valorant agent or something. But this is what makes Donk look like a prodigy to me. He has the game sense to spam this smoke at the exact right time and the mechanics to hold that recoil control exactly at head level and kind of draw a line through the smoke. This is a skill you can only get by playing a hell of a lot of Counter-Strike and this is not a one-time thing, he just does this, this intuition. And he's doing it against the number one rated team in the world, FaZe Clan. The match we're going to be focusing on here is from the Grand Finals of IEM Katowice 2024 between Team Spirit and FaZe Clan and this is the final map of the series. Spirit absolutely dumpstered phase, it wasn't even close, with Donk putting up ridiculous numbers. Keep an eye on how Donk never stops moving. Now, he's not playing recklessly at all. He's playing around Shiro in all of these engagements and making sure he's in position to trade or to allow Shiro to back up. Essentially, his job in this position is to babysit the opera. Donk isn't doing anything out of the ordinary here. He's playing his position. It's just he's playing it really, really well. At this level of Counter-Strike, getting a 2K and then getting traded just flat out wins the round. And remember, Never stop moving. Donk's like the bus from speed. If he slows down below a certain point, he's just gonna instantly explode. When you're playing rifle with an AWPer, the AWP takes the first engagement, and then the rifle needs to be in position for after that AWP fires. Here he is supporting Shiro's AWP. As soon as the smoke comes down, he pushes up to get an angle so that the rifle is now in position for after the AWP fires. That's not special, that's just good Counter-Strike. But this, this is something else. For those of you who think recoil is difficult in CS2, just play the game 12 hours a day and you'll be able to do this. Think of the confidence to not once reset the recoil here. He did this all in one spray. Here's some more of that absurd intuition. Donk is waiting out this smoke. He's making himself vulnerable from long. There's nobody watching long, but there is nobody there. So as soon as the smoke clears, hey, there he is. This is how Donk tap shoots at distance. Perfect rhythm and spamming that crouch button. He loves that crouch button. Look how differently Rain plays. Same weapon, same distance, and I'd say Rain had an advantage there since he had cover and a headshot angle. Once again, getting a 
2k and then trading pretty much wins you the round, and Donk does this consistently. This is how you hold an angle at high ping. I'll remind you that this is LAN, there is no ping, and based on my investigations into Peeker's Advantage in CS2, the netcode problems in CS2 should not be in effect here. Donk's play style, it should not work, but it does. That's what makes this player so interesting to me, and it's why I wanted to make this video. By the way, I am absolutely loving nading smokes in Counter-Strike 2. Oh, you smoked heaven? Too bad, loser. Get cyberbullied. After watching a lot of Team Spirit to prep for this video, I think Shiro and Donk work really well together and honestly could become a legendary duo like Coldzera Fallen or Simple Electronic. In the final round of the half, phase is down 10 to 1. They correctly find the weak point today and potentially could overwhelm Shiro, but Kerrigan goes down and they call the rotate to B. At the same time, Spirit rotates two up to A and then one back to Graffiti. This leaves B vulnerable and FaZe is able to trade into the site. It finally looks like they have a chance at getting a second point, but they don't have enough util left to defend against a retake, and Donk just casually stands there at heaven and wins the aim duels. After the final kill, Donk ended the half with an ADR of 169. Nice. In the final map of the grand finals of one of the biggest tournaments of the year against the top ranked team in the world. That is absurd. Counter-Strike 2 is new and a lot of the teams have been scrambled around, so let's say that everything's kind of in a weak place right now, but still, to be able to pull that off is significant and it is a sign that Donk could potentially be one of the greatest in the game. I do not think he is there right now, but I think he has the potential. Completely unrelated to the video, I just want to point out this absolute Chad move here by Brokey to leave the bomb, give it to the enemy, and then rotate all the way around and get there just in time to prevent a last second bomb plant. CS2 is a moving target. It's going to get patched over time. It already has been patched to dramatically improve the peaker's advantage, and I've noticed it, especially when playing at high ping. There's a distinct possibility that after a few patches, his playstyle no longer works or is less effective, or other players are going to learn how to counter him better, but none of that is why I think Donk could become the best player in the world. Having a unique playstyle is not what makes you the best. It's a symptom of what makes you the best. Here's the recipe for a prodigy. You need to start young, you need to have a supportive environment, and you need to be obsessed. That obsession is what allows you to push through the stress of training so you can train harder, longer, and smarter than anyone else. If you avoid the stress required to improve, you will never improve. But here's the donk enigma. He says he doesn't practice. No aim training, no deathmatch, no retakes, no warming up. He just grinds the game all day long. How is it possible that this guy got this good, this fast, without practice? Well, I believe Donk when he says he doesn't practice because I think it isn't practice to him. When you're doing what you were born to do, it doesn't feel like training. It just kind of happens. It flows. And if this guy keeps grinding the way he is, he's only going to get better. What happens a lot is someone works really hard to achieve something, and then when they achieve it, they dial it back, they relax. That's how a player can go from winning the major to, eh, they're okay, to, eh, they're retired very quickly. But someone who is absolutely obsessed to the point where they can train all day long every day and it doesn't even feel like training when you ask them they say no I don't practice I just play Counter-Strike. To them it doesn't matter if they win because they're not goal oriented they're process oriented. That person is unstoppable. There's a lot of exceptional players out there currently competing and there always has been. So why Donk? Why is he getting all of this attention? I think it's because the way he plays and the way he practices defies the conventional logic on how to be a good Counter-Strike player and that's interesting. I also think there's a lot of people who are unhappy with Counter-Strike 2 and how the netcode works and they're pointing at Donk as a symptom of those problems and saying look at this he just runs out there and kills him that's because the game's bad. I think these people are wrong and this kid is actually pretty good. There's also a drought in simple content, so people are using Donk to clickbait instead. So that's my analysis of the new Counter-Strike Prodigy. Spirit has qualified for the upcoming Major, so this is gonna be the true test for this guy. We'll see what happens. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.